What's up guys? You're tuning into the channel. So I'm gonna welcome you guys to this new series, well hopefully series that I plan on making called Cooking with Christian. So for today we're gonna go try and make the new Instagram trend thing, the Dalgona coffee home thing. So first for ingredients we have milk, sugar, we only have brown sugar. I don't know if that will change the recipe or something but... And lastly, coffee. We also only have 3-in-1 coffee and we don't have just pure black coffee so hopefully that doesn't change anything. And, and lastly, water if you, if you would consider that as an ingredient. So let's go. Cool. So, with all of the Nogona recipes that I've found, it seems like the common thing is it is two tablespoons of coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of hot water, and then we're gonna mix that up. So it seems like you just need even portionings of each, and since I only have about three in one coffee and I don't want to waste the rest. I'm just gonna proportion the sugar and the water to how much coffee is in one pouch. Is that okay? I need a bowl. Here is my bowl. It's black. We don't have any more clear bowls because I may have accidentally broken them while washing dishes. So now we're gonna put in our coffee. And now for our sugar, according to this, our 3-in-1 coffee is 27.5 grams, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I can't find it. I'm just gonna computate it to tablespoons. So according to Google, one 27 grams is 1.8 tablespoons I'm not even sure if this is a tablespoon or a teaspoon but since the coffee is 27.5 grams I'm just gonna put two heaps of sugar to be sure I could mess this up so now there's the sugar yeah you'll mix it so next step is to boil some water. Okay. So the next step is to pour the hot water and then hand whisk it until it becomes foamy. I have the water, but sadly we do not have. We neither, I cannot talk, we neither have a hand mixer or a whisk so we're going super barbarian by just using a fork and since the water is hot I'm not even gonna bother trying to measure it out so I'm just gonna pour it little by little and then mix it and then hope for the best okay that seems like it's a lot I'm making a mess and this is very tiring you would think that this would be a natural gesture for me, but it is not. I think I am having pit stains. Okay. So, I don't think it's gonna mix anymore, but it is. It's syrupy, not foamy. And I don't know if the camera can see it, but it looks grainy. So, I guess, it, I guess I'm gonna stop here. I think it is a fail, but I don't know, I'm gonna try and plate up right now. So we are glad. So first, I'm gonna put some ice. Now for our milk. That's a lot. So guys, I left it. I left it out for a bit and then now it's actually starting to look foamy. I'm excited. It may not be a fail after all. Now I'm gonna pour in Okay that is not Instagrammable. <laughs> so 
so it sunk. <laughs> it sunk in the middle instead of staying a foam on top. Well, I'm gonna go try it still to see if it's good. I got myself a steering spoon. Mm. Okay, so it seems like a fail, but I don't know how much of a fail it is. So I'm gonna go to my chef cousin, Kayato, and I am gonna ask him if I did indeed fail and how and where I did. So. Hello. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I tried making Dalgona coffee. <laughs> it's a fail at home. I need you to tell me where I may have gone wrong. <laughs> so, no recipe more. Uh, we didn't have pure ground coffee, so I used three in one. Yeah, three in one. No. White sugar, I use brown sugar. Mm -hmm. No hand mixer, so I use my hands. <laughs> What's the commotion about? I tried the Dalgona coffee. And look. <laughs> it's not. The problem is that it's not brown sugar. So, oh. so you want me to teach you how? Do I have to make? If you want. <laughs> Okay, show me how to make the dalgona coffee. Mmm, so sweet, so milky. Ben, Ben, I'll show you how to make the dalgona coffee. Ready? Ito, dessert, dessert. It's coffee jelly without the jelly. Guys, even if it's a fail, it's good. It tastes so good. Not. It's sweet. Two tablespoons of white sugar. Okay, so this is the proper way how to do the dalgona. <laughs> First, you need two tablespoons of white sugar. Two tablespoons of instant Nescafe. Then let's just wait for the hot water. Okay, so you're gonna put two tablespoons of hot water. There you go. You mix it until it reaches the thick. Medyo pag ginaan mo siya, nagla-light yung color niya. Ah. That Christian experienced the... You want to experience, <laughs> Chan? Here. Uh, no, it's okay. Mine is good. <laughs> so, bakit natin binimis? Kasi, you know, incorporate mo yung air. air sa... sa coffee. Yes, guys, irresistible vlogs will become a cooking. So the more you whisk, the more air it will have. So paano mo siya malaman kung tapos na? So pag inangat mo siya, tapos medyo hindi siya nagdidrip. Ah. Kailangan stiff yung consistency. Okay, so I definitely did not whisk enough. That actually looks nice. Okay, mm. so our Dalgona coffee is good na. So as you can see, if you lift up the wire whisk, it's medyo stiff na siya. So okay na yan. So, put a little bit of extra. So we made coffee jelly. Me? Uh, she made coffee jelly. <laughs> then you put milk. Finishing touches. Oh, you don't need ice. Oh, it's the well, your milk is already cold. So. Oh, <laughs> it floats. <laughs> it floats without ice. There you go. No gonna <laughs> Time to taste the difference. Hello. You have to mix it first. You didn't say that. You have to mix it first. Mmm. I think Dalgona is more on the presentation of Madanda. Mmm. It's still bitter. Add oh, it's yung, okay. Add me your sweet one. So we can add the sweet. So, <laughs> so my Dalgona coffee was kind of a fail. Apparently, I did not whisk it enough. 
but if you can't do it right, look for a chef na lang. <laughs> look for a chef. So that's it for the video. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Bye-bye.